Paul, a very uh, chaotic start to the game, uh, but in true Leamington fashion, they grew back into the game and came away with the win. Your thoughts on today's uh, game? What well, probably plays me the most, really, because I don't think we've probably done a lot of that recently. Um, I mean, listen, yeah, it was disappointing. Um, because uh, when, when you've had a break for a couple of weeks and you've, you've had a little reset and you've, you've probably worked hard on the training ground and what you want to do, um, which I, I thought, if you've watched us tonight and you've seen how many crosses we've got in the box uh, and the break in play, tie around scoring on the back post, gives you an idea what we've been, we've been, been doing. That. But listen, Starbridge are coming, have been very, very brave. Um, to start with, with the system they played, high wing backs, two up top, one in the pocket, probably threw us a little bit. Um, and I think, you know, they, they put the ball into good areas early and it, it put, it put a bit of pressure on us. And listen, you know, we'll be disappointed when we look back at the goal. Flip it round the other way because of their system. The important thing then is if we can get the, the pass out the middle of the park, there's a lot of space. And, you know, we've had two or three wonderful opportunities first half. Um, then levelled off the game, levelled off. I think both teams had spells. I think you'd have to say we've had the better chances tonight. We've had the better chances. Um, combinations between Dan Meredith, Henry Landers, combinations between Josh and Callum. You know, all three attacking players have had opportunities tonight. Um, but I thought it was a real good Leamington Starbridge game. We've had loads over the years, and it was nice to get that league fixture back again. Uh, we're delighted we've got the, the win and the three points. They threw everything at us towards the end. You know, they've got a good squad. It's it's very flexible, the side. They've, they've changed systems in game, which causes a little bit of a good. And we've got a young boy in there that's stepping up to this level and, and wouldn't have had to deal with a team changing in play, out of position. And you're just understanding the game, but he's getting there. Um, but we're resilient when we had to be. And I thought most or not, we looked a threat. So that, that's probably one of the most pleasing performances for me this year. Uh, and a good bounce back from the last two or three away performances where things haven't quite gone our way. You talk about Starbridge being a hard fixture. Another hard fixture is this Saturday's game against Telford. Your thoughts on that one coming up? Yeah, but I looked at these fixtures. I was looking forward to them, to be honest. I looked at Starbridge and Telford and Kettering and Stamford and, and I thought, right, here we go. This is, this is you know, that I think it's a really, really strong competitive league I think I used the term you know these will be proper sort of non-league games step three games and I think that that was it tonight um, yeah and, and listen Telford are just beginning to uh, just beginning to adapt um, the results are picking up and it's like a lot of clubs you, you look down you go out throughout the pyramid of football you look at any teams from top to bottom and get relegated there's very few that get relegated and just go bang off we go again it's um there's a lot of things on the pitch and off the pitch that have to change. Um, a lot of emotional and mentally things to deal with. Squad settling down. Um, you can see it with our squad. We've had, we've had to change it. A bit younger, uh, a bit cheaper. You know, so uh, there's lots of lots of reasons. And but you've, you you know, but I still need we still need the Leamington DNA around the place, which that's pleased me the most tonight. Um, Listen, we, we haven't quite had the rub of the game in the two away league games. Uh, but what concerned me was probably lack of opportunities. We created lots of the ball, lots of lo lo lack of opportunities. So what pleased me tonight is that we were more dynamic. We were quicker on the counter. We got the passes quicker out the middle of the park, got, you know, stretched the game. And then, you know, got people in the right area. So I was, uh, yeah, that's, that's really pleased me tonight, that one.